Hello, this is Vivi here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'll be reviewing the fitness game Knockout Home Fitness. I've been playing it for three months. Finally, I'm ready to talk about it. In this video, I'll show you how it works, how you will feel using it, and I have a lot of deep comparisons between it and fitness boxing and ring fit adventure. I've revised the script many times. I hope I've made it complete and clear for your reference. Okay, let's start. Knockout Home Fitness is a one-stop fitness game. I'd love to call it a fitness app. It's featured for its inspiration by four martial arts, boxing, karate, muay thai, and kung fu. By choreographing them with cardio, it could burn your calories, or improve your muscle strength, or just get you some benefits from doing physical exercises. It has two exercise modes, daily workout, which is a personal training here, and three-minute short courses for those who want extra challenges. When you do daily mode, you set your workout plan first, you choose your goal, focus area, and duration. Then the system will schedule you a plan, including warm-up, a few short courses from easy to challenging, and a cool-down. So you have everything essential for you to do a basic workout in one app, that you don't need to switch to other videos or tutorials to complete a whole cycle of workout. Knockout works a bit similar to fitness boxing, if you are familiar with that. It will work on your full body, upper to bottom. Despite that, you will assume it only works on upper body since you only hold a Joy-Con in your hands, nothing for your legs. But you will feel Knockout has so many more action types, especially a lot more on the lower body. And you will find many funny ones. So it doesn't mean to be funny. It has basic actions like jabs, hook, uppercut, dodge, and I find the side jab, two fist, very hilarious to do, and the forearm and rising when doing squats, very interesting. And I mostly enjoy the kicks and side kicks. It just feels so cool to do the kick. Maybe it's similar to the movements in Street Fighter and the King of the Fighters. The actions will use different parts of your muscles of your full body. By combining the actions, it will create a course with some intensity and focus area. There are in total 60 courses in 5 categories, warm up, boxing, kickboxing, fight and challenge, and each equally has 12 courses. In fitness boxing and ring fit adventure, Knockout also has the feature of data tracking. It's not very detailed, but just enough information for you to track your workout progress. There are 4 trainers with different styles, from friendly to strict. Not much difference, their dialogues are a little different. To me, I like Matilda because she looks more matched to her profile picture. It's so weird that they look so different from their profiles. In Knockout, you can't change their clothes or appearances. I assume I will get bored soon after playing this game, but actually, it doesn't matter that much. I'll explain why later. The visual art and music is very normal music game style, not exciting but not bad, very clean and fit the theme. Unlike Finnish Boxing 2, some stages and music are not that pleasant to someone's ears, and sometimes even a little distractive. Except, the assistants are a little scary and it shook me at the first times. They have the exact same facial expression and movements as a trainer. Three of them doing the exact same thing is a little weird, but it doesn't take me long to get used to it. That's it for the gameplay, let's start talking about the gameplay experience. For this review, due to numerous reasons, I chose not to set a strict plan to follow as what I did for fitness boxing long-term game review, like do the exercise three to four times a week or so. I just want to know how often I will use it and how willing I want to use it in real life situations as a less active type of person. So this is the result. I kept using it as much as I can and I would for a little more than three months and I use it 28 times. It's about one to two times per week and I still have some courses unlocked and I'm not familiar with all the courses so it still feels very fresh to me. I would say it is worth the price. 
Knockout Home Fitness burns a decent amount of calories since the actions are inspired by martial arts, which would be in high intensity sometimes, even only using some basic actions. Knockout will burn you 200 to 230 calories per half an hour, which is in one daily workout duration, a little less than fitness boxing, which burns you 250 to 280 calories per half an hour. Knockout has three workout duration options, 10, 20, and 30 minutes. Fitness boxing has one more, 40 minutes. Do you feel the same way if the workout duration exceeds 30 minutes, it will become stressful. If you set your workout goal at 30 minutes, I feel fitness boxing tends to schedule you a plan more than 30 minutes, could up to 35 minutes. But knockout will schedule you exactly 30 minutes or less, and that actually makes me feel better. Since knockout has a lot of actions, it brings an issue that it takes longer for you to learn all the actions, a bit longer than fitness boxing. There is a learning curve for sure, and it uses pink and blue to represent left and right hand, which is easy to mix up. When fitness boxing is putting the action plates on left and right to represent left and right hand, which is so much easier to understand. So especially at the first couple exercises, you always feel like in a spin, but you will get to it after exercise more. Interestingly, I feel fitness boxing helps me to ease in knockout home fitness easier. I am so familiar with all the boxing movements. Some people pointed out that I didn't do the boxing actions quite right when playing with fitness boxing, that it makes my exercise not effective enough. But to this game, I don't think you need to struggle with how accurately you do it. It combines martial arts with cardio, so it's not asking you to be a pro fighter. You don't need to do the actions in a professional way. Besides, even you just swing around your arms and legs to try to imitate the coaches, you will burn a lot of calories. But yes, if you could perform a better action, you will be more effective and less likely to get hurt, and it will help to train certain muscles better. I am now starting to try to use more of the power of my feet, legs, and waist, and I feel I get a better result. But it is difficult to constantly do it from beginning to the end. I always give it up halfway. And yeah, before I was always concerned if playing too much fitness boxing will get me some muscle memory, and I was especially worried if I would get used to some bad habit of performing some punches. Well, yes, I had some muscle memories, but it took me 3 to 4 plays to adjust to the new game, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I certainly overthought. My knees are somewhat weak, and surprisingly, I don't feel much pain playing with knockout home fitness. So much better than fitness boxing. I guess it's because the actions related to legs in the game, such as dodge, kick, switch, are not required you to do. These actions are called free actions in game. It will automatically mark as done, no matter you do it or not. And it won't show perfect or good, which is how you do the punch, and it doesn't count in the score. And the action needs and twist which related to legs. Although they are not free actions, but they will detect your hand's movement. So if you want to avoid knee hurts, you could totally skip these actions or do it in a smaller range. Among the actions, there is an action called switch, which requires you to jump up and switch your front and back feet. It hurts the knee. You could tweak it by performing a step forward or step back, and you'll still be good to connect to the next movement. It's quite interesting, right? Although it doesn't have a knee assist mode as fitness boxing or ring fit adventure, but it avoids giving too much pressure on your knees in this way. And it works. What confused me again is the warm up and cool down sessions are the same in Knockout Home Fitness 2. Fitness boxing does the same design. I don't think it should be like that. Some people also commented that it should not be like that. I don't get it. Furthermore, I don't like the setup of the warm up and cool down in knockout home fitness. It's extremely short, only 3 minutes. And if you cut out the breaks in warm up, you actually get only a 2 minute warm up. It's far from enough. I got sore and a little twisted for the first time trying out this app. The movements seem not very effective, it doesn't raise my heart rate much. 
Because the course arrangements are different from fitness boxing, the intensity will continue to go up. So at the last courses, you will get the most intense and it will raise your heart rate to the most. At this moment, if it stops and guides you to do the very low intensity cool down, you will feel very uncomfortable. The 20 minutes workout schedule made my heart beat so bad. It will stop right when your heart rate get to the most. I had to keep moving around for a couple minutes to pace down. But the 30 minutes workout actually gave me a better experience. I highly suggest you to try to use less power at the last two sections to help ease out your heartbeat. I know it's a little hard to do it with knockout home fitness since the last courses always are at the highest intensity. I really dislike this setup. So I always do a modified warm-up, which won't change too much of the workout routine, but will help ease the heartbeat. Here is it for your reference. The idea is very simple, just add more stretching movements and do more reps during the gaps when the trainer is talking or switching movements. It's enough time for you to do much more. I used some posters from Venus Boxing or Ring Fit Adventure, and I got inspired by some stretching tutorials of Chinese national team and some coaches, and and the world's greatest stretch. I have to say some movements in this game look so weird and not legit, such as the rolling shoulder. Her wrist looks so strange. I had to do some searching to see if that is me can't get it, but I can't find much information about it. It's not among the popular arm stretching movements. Is it because it's low efficiency? I remember it was what we did when I was in my elementary school, which was about 20 years ago, and another arm stretch looks weird. Her shoulder looks broken doing it. It may be because of the 3D model skeleton bonding, and I don't like the waist stretching. Those are okay for cooldown, but not enough for warm up. Besides this, all other actions look very legit to me. For knockout home fitness interface, it will show the action plate at the bottom in the two 8 beats lines, very neat in order. Since the courses are very short and there are not many reps, most of the time you keep looking at the bottom part of the screen. It's hard to pick what the trainers are doing and saying on the upper side of the screen. So it really doesn't matter if they could have new clothes or new hair color, I don't even look at them. Now let's finish the deep comparison between it and other popular fitness game, fitness boxing and ring fit adventure by talking about what I haven't mentioned in the previous content. So I feel knockout choreography is not as fluent as fitness boxing. It seems to just simply line up the actions by left, right, left, and right, and neatly in 8 beats. Each action is separate, and you don't need to think much when playing, just do what comes next. Good thing is, there are enough type of actions that you won't feel bored. It's okay, but just not taking advantage of the combo. Fitness Boxing has special designed combos, and the combos bring extra effects, because each punch has a connection to the other, and it considers your body rotation. For example, some actions need you to twist back so then you could throw a punch more effectively. So the combos make it easier to do the action in a larger range. I can tell my movements are much bigger in fitness boxing than in knockout, and it is very satisfying to do so, and can help you to get better results. Well, Knockout should be professional enough because it's supervised by the number one download health and fitness app Fink. The name shows in the first studio background. This game was released in 2020 in Japan named Fink Home Fit. Knockout Home Fitness is a localized name, without the word Fink in the name, so it's a little confusing. The founder was a personal trainer, and I just realized he looks so similar to the male trainer in game, it must be him. And he started this startup tech company and made the health app. I'll talk about the story in the trivia section, it's quite interesting, please don't miss it. The sessions in Knockout Home Fitness are much shorter than fitness boxing, just 3 to 5 minutes, like in a blink, but don't ignore that there are not many break times in between, that it's actually quite challenging to complete. Fitness boxing has longer courses, usually 7 to 15 minutes, but it has many break times, just enough for you to breathe and hydrate yourself. 
Now Kao doesn't have two player mode, so if your partner wants to join, he could play without Join Kong, which means with bare hands. Just use the game as a guidance, and for sure, no data track. The Join Kong actually makes a difference. The small weight will make the shadow punch easier, and you could get the feedback if you catch the punch or not. When we play Rift Adventure, we bought a normal Palatio ring, so both of us at least have something to hold. When playing with fitness boxing, both of you could have a pair of Join Kong and could track both progress. Well, Naka Home Fitness will require a decent large playground because some action will hit to the side. If someone is not familiar with the actions and hit the wrong side, it's easy to hit each other. Okay, I'll do it by myself to be safer. There is much either, only the timing matters, and is counted by 8 beats. It's a very familiar classic music game style, but I still have some tiny issues with the timing. It's either because you do it too fast or too slow, or haven't done an action claim because of the backswing. It's not a big deal to miss some, but the scoring is not legit. You have to get all excellent, not even a good to get a golden crown. But the silver crown is so easy to get, you could even even miss a few and that's not a problem. Why is that? I want the golden crown, but it's just so impossible. Overall, the three fitness games all have their own special features. Which one is for you depends on what theme you like and how fast you want to burn calories. If you like boxing style fitness and burn more calories, go with fitness boxing for sure. If you like something yoga, something more still, low intensity, more entertaining, go with Rip Adventure. If you like larger movements that you could jump around, go with Knockout. It's more important that you like the exercise form than willing to do it the effectiveness. Knockout has less entertaining functions among the three fitness games, so it means that it's the least fun, which means least appealing, and the most boring one. I have some friends who are casual workout players, normal to less active people, and I found that especially my female friends, they could do a lot of ring adventure, they could even finish it, but they can't even complete a demo of fitness boxing. I see entertainment is still very attractive to people, but to those who need some cardio like me, I could stick with fitness boxing or knockout for a while. Yeah, I know there is another fitness game called Jumping Rope. I did test it when it was out, but the footage I captured and filmed was not good enough for me to make a video, so I didn't make it. It's a very creative idea. Let's talk about some trivia that I found interesting about this game. The app think that supervises this game is very similar to MyFitnessPal. It could track your steps, diet, weight, sleep, exercise, and women's period. Furthermore, it provides healthy recipes and over 30,000 workout tutorials, a shopping mall, and a friendly chatting robot. The app was downloaded over 2 million times within one year of its release in Japan, and now it has 11 million downloads. The founder Yuki Mizoguchi was born in Tokyo in 1984 in a poor family. He was a personal trainer since he was in high school, and he served many celebrities and sports players. Later, he got into a government project and opened a gym, but he failed in just one year and eight months because he couldn't get enough members. He only got 1,500, which is half of the 3K goal. After he closed a gym, he had to work in another company to pay the debt. Then he successfully successfully helped to rebuild and revitalize the not doing well company. This journey gained him some experience. Then he noticed that at the time, the services in the gym cannot meet the customer's needs in overall health. So he thought of using smartphones to help them with healthcare, especially with the help of AI and computer technology. Then in 2012, on the 10,000 days of his birth, he founded the company Fink. Though he quitted Think in 2019 and founded an angel investment company, Wing Group. It seems like the company has some issues now, but I don't see much information about it, so no more story here. Now let's talk about the publisher. One publisher of the game is Japanese game company Marvelous. Tencent's subsidiary company Image Frame Investment bought 20% of their share, and Tencent is their biggest shareholder now. Marvelous announced this news in May 2020. Another publisher of the game is Xseed Games, an American company. It's subsidiary company of Marvelous. It provides the localization and publishing work. 
And they have Lanho, which is a Japanese company founded in 1999. Among their early games, there are horse racing and some just dance, and even a dance workout game. Hmm, interesting. I think now maybe it's a good timing for some professional dance game to make a comeback. It will go big. Well, finally, I've done this deep game review. It took me about one to two months to write a script, and I revised many times. As I played more, I kept getting more thoughts that I wanted to put into the content. Until finally, I got to the point that I think it should be settled. I hope I made my point clear and covered enough details for you to understand this game. Ask me in the comment what else you are curious about it. Please share in the comment too if you see other fitness games or fitness tech gadgets that is interesting. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!